So this is uh, the most of the collection actually. I might be adding a few more pieces, but I think this is the core of this collection. As you can see, I have drawn um, a few designs to have an idea what, you, what I am aiming for. And I decided to add a little koi fish to this collection as well um, but yeah let me tell you about the inspiration behind it so the main inspiration is scottish heather flower beautiful beautiful flower that covers the hills of scottish highlands it's purple and beautiful and it's one of my favorite colors so the obvious choice is amethyst in my case and rose quartz for this one. I wanted to go for these two because especially with rose quartz, it's just, it has this ideal shade of pink, pale pink that I wanted to use and I wanted to pair it with a bright green color. So in this case, I just found prenate to be the best for this and this is the ring and as you can see it's quite similar to my koi fish ring but here instead of fish i've got two heather flowers on both sides and on here i'm actually really excited for these ones because of the moons that i'm going to use and these two pendants these two will be just by themselves so just a simple necklace with a beautiful shiny amethyst yeah that will be the collection for now i am also thinking about creating earrings with these ceramic beads with beautiful flowers because i think it really fits the collection and with these earrings i haven't decided yet but originally i wanted to use chains on here but then I was also thinking about using those little sandstone beads. So I don't know, I might go for that one instead. I haven't made my mind just yet, but as you can see, I've already drawn it because I'm gonna use definitely the sandstone for this pendant. So I've already drawn it on here to see how that would look like. So yeah, that's it. I hope you like it. I am really excited for this one. It's coming out on 18th September. I don't have a time yet, but if you want to uh, find out the time when the collection launches, just give me a follow on Instagram and I will share much more information on there as well as the previews of all of the pieces when they're ready. And yeah, fingers crossed, they all turn out the way I wanted them to be.
this looks so much better than before, obviously. But yeah, I am just really excited. I'm going to list all of the artists that created these uh, artworks in the description box below so you can also check them out. This one, this one, has been made and designed and made by Gabby from the Sylvan Smith Jewelry. You, some of you might know her. If you don't, also go check her out, give her a follow. She's such a talented lady and a really good friend of mine. So I was just thrilled when she sent me this one. It's one of the most beautiful gifts. It's amazing and really good quality. This one is a painting uh, by my mom. She painted this very, very long time ago, a few years probably, and the colors are a bit different than they were originally because I kept it on my wall for years. So, but it still looks absolutely wonderful. And these stickers, so these are stickers, but I just really wanted to put them up on the wall as well. A little postcard from Iceland. Yeah, so I hope you like these. I hope they will inspire you to maybe decorate your own wall a little bit in your space, workshop. And it just looks so much more cozy and inspiring to work in and spend some time in your workshop. Yeah. So I found this awesome tip that was submitted to Metalsmith Society. It's a profile on Instagram created by Corky and it gathers tips and advice for the community of jewelry makers and metalsmiths. The tips and hacks are often submitted by other makers and I've already took so much value from her page and blog, so make sure you check that out too. It will be linked in the description box below. Today I am finally sorting my silver wires. I used to keep them in these little plastic bags they arrive in, which is a great option. It keeps them tarnish free and obviously you're reusing the bags. But if your stock grows and you need a good and efficient way of sorting the metal and accessing it, then that trick might be a good solution. I'm sorting my wires from the smallest gauge to largest and I'm adding little stickers onto envelopes so everything is correctly marked. If you want to keep your wires fresh and tarnish free for longer, add a little anti-tarnish strip into each envelope. Though I don't think that's super necessary when you're going to solder them anyway, so it's up to you. La, la, la. If I forgot the gauge of the wire, by keeping it on the bench perhaps for so long, I can easily check it with the caliper. Here I'm using a manual caliper, but I also have the electric one, which is great. Just need to get uh, new batteries for it. <laughs> and done. That's how I used to sort my metal and that's an upgraded version. So much better. Additional perk of adding these little labels in the corners of the envelopes is that you can sort through them easily without flipping the compartments. Just when you find the right gauge and type, then you can open your organizer on the right page.
So thank you so much guys for watching another vlog. This one has been shorter and a bit different than usual, um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I will see you next week with another video. And yeah, comment down below what you've been up to. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again. Take care and I will see you again soon. Bye.